In this series, we're going to be building an authentication system with PHP, and we're going to include all of the features you would expect from an authentication system. And this will give you a good base to go on and extend this and include it in whatever you need it for. So let's take a look around and look at what we can do within this. So the first thing is obviously registering. I've got my database just up here and I have a users table and a users permissions table. So we're going to be able to set permissions for specific users as well. In this case, we're setting whether a user is an admin or not. So let's register for an account. I'm going to enter my email address here. I'm going to choose a username and a password. If I forget anything, we have validation in here as well. And we also have validation to check that the email and the username are both unique. So let's enter my password twice, hit register, and we've now been registered. Now we actually need to activate our account. We're not going to be able to log in before, uh, until we've activated. So you can see I've received an email now to activate using this link. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and we see your account has been activated and you can now sign in. So now I'm going to log in. And I'm going to check remember me. So this is going to store a cookie, which is going to last for a week. You can increase this or decrease it. And that will remember me even if I close my browser off. So that's one of the features we're implementing. So just working from the bottom up here, we can list all users. At the moment, we just have Alex. And I've just clicked onto my profile, which can also be accessed via this link uh, as well, this one here. We can update our profile. So we can go and add a first and a last name if we wanted to. That's going to update my details. And you can see here now I'm being greeted by my full name. These are in here. And then when I view my profile, I see my full name here as well. We can obviously change our password. So we can enter an old password and a new password. That will validate that the old password matches, obviously. And then we can just change that. And that's our password being updated. We can obviously give ourselves admin permissions as we've already seen. So there's the record in our database table. And we have a permissions record here. You can easily add more columns for different permission levels. You can uh, have very specific permissions or general permissions like is admin. And by changing that to true or one, we see a new link here, which we can go into an admin area. And you can have lots of different pages that are all protected uh, if you are an admin only. So if we go and log out, we are going to head over to the login part and we're going to click forgot your password. And we request a password reset. That's going to send a email to us and we can recover our password. You'll see also here we get an email when we actually changed our password a moment ago. So I'm going to recover my password. To start the process, I click this link. That prompts me to enter a new password and I can click change password. And there, my password has been changed and I can sign in. So that's what we're going to be building. We are basing the authentication system on the SLIM2 framework. But if you've not worked with a framework before, don't worry too much. We're going to go over how we install everything that we need to get up and running with this. And it's very, very straightforward once you get used to it. So that's the authentication system. Let's jump into the next part where we're going to start to set everything up.